Hey, we're here in Algiers where a home caught on fire early this morning. We're unsure how this one started, but there are utility crews out here working on some of the electrical damage right now. But the inside of the home is severely damaged and honestly kind of it looks like it is gutted. Now the fire started just after 1:30 this morning. Take a look at this video that someone sent us. You can just see the building engulfed and swallowed really in flames. Now this building here is a duplex. Thankfully there was only one person in the home with some pets. The other side is usually rented out, but she says that they are in between renters right now. So no one was in that other side. Thankfully now a we're told a transformer did blow up in this area. Um, we're not sure if that did cause the fire inside the home. We're working to get more information on that. The woman who lives in this home was with some of her pets and she says she has an escape plan for situations like this, but she wasn't able to use her main escape plan. She wanted to go out the front door and out the front gates, but there was a live wire that was causing some sparks and some flames on the gate. So she had to turn around and go out another way and she is safe and some of her pets are safe. But unfortunately, she did lose one of her cats. Of course, I'm very sad about my cat. He was elderly and he probably just got confused in the smoke and I it would there was so much smoke. It was I had to just get out. I didn't have time to really see if he was in the house. He kind of had been in and out. So um, you know, it's heartbreaking. The New Orleans Public Library Hubble Branch is right next door to this home. So New Orleans Fire Department does tell us that they had three alarms just because they were worried about some of the damage and it kind of growing and getting some of the other structures, including the library here. Again, we're working to get more information. We're told it was brought under control around 3.30 this morning, so it did take a little bit of time to get it under control. We're expected to speak to New Orleans Fire Department in just a little bit, so hopefully we'll have some more information for you soon. But for now, reporting live in Algiers, Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News.